We are on the Hudson River at Noy Point to show you how invasive water chestnut can be. All you see here is water chestnut. It can be identified by its rosette of leaves that are held up by tiny air sacs. Water chestnut is also identified by its sharp seeds that float. They tend to grow in shallow, muddy, or sandy bottomed waterbeds. It is classified as an invasive because it takes over shallow waters and crowds out the native species, such as underwater grasses. Water chestnut prevents dissolved oxygen from staying in the water because all the oxygen it makes is released into the atmosphere. We took a reading of the dissolved oxygen in the water under the water chestnut and found it to be about 23%, compared to about 80% further offshore. It is also terrible for recreational boating because it is so hard to paddle through and will get you stuck if you are not careful. Water chestnut can be controlled easily if it is in an isolated pond or lake. The best way is hand pulling. But when it gets to be such a large infestation, like here at Nori Point, there is little that can be done. The best thing to do to keep it from spreading is to clean all of your equipment before and after you enter a body of water.